today I'm going to teach you how to make a thranduil crown as seen in The Hobbit. Um, it's pretty complex, but hopefully my tips will help you learn how to make one for yourself. So, here's what you need. So you want to start with some steel wire. I got mine at Walmart. It's called galvanized wire, and that's what you'll be using to make your frame. You'll need some wire cutters. Also, I got these from Walmart, and these are the pretty heavy kind, you know, somewhat large, so that you can cut the edges of the wire. You'll want some polymer clay. I liked this Primo Sculpey brand. It's a little bit harder to work with, but in the long run, it's better than using the regular Sculpey, which is this kind right here, because I found that this kind right here is easier to work with, but it does crap. So with this kind, it's better in the long run. And then you'll just get a sharp edged knife so you can cut your clay. And after that, you'll need some gold acrylic paint, metallic. Mine is Martha Stewart. And of course, a paintbrush. The other thing that you're going to need are these green leaves, which I find at Michael's, and some red spray paint. Okay, so the first place you want to start is you want to cut a piece of your wire and um, let's just start with cutting it like this. What you want to do is put it around your head like this. Kind of measure out to your cheekbone like about here. So I need to cut, you know, a little bit more. So you want to start with it about, you know, at the ends coming to your cheekbone about around here. So just start kind of forming it to your head a little bit. And then uh, you'll want to kind of make like a sort of bend the wire upwards to go, like you want it to do that at the point behind your ear. So like, for example, I'm here in my ear. So I want it to start going up before it hits my ear, like maybe about an inch or so. So it's going up, and then you want to actually bend it down a little bit more like this. And then just kind of let it. So I just want to make that sort of area to go over your ear. like this, on this side. And you just do the, th the same thing on the other side. So measure it out there. Okay, so once you have your piece here, you know, you've already cut, you cut your wire, and then you make sure the um, parts here are raising above your ear, like so. And it'll fit like this. So. You want to go ahead and cut another piece, um, like a little bit longer than this, and then that's when you start kind of joining the pieces together. When you start forming your crown shape, you want to, like I was telling you, twist around here and make sure it's really tight so that it's not loose, and you're going to let the extra pieces hang off here so you can start forming your spikes. But see here, like this one is a little bit loose, so I may have to redo it or double wrap. The problem is if it's loose, see, it starts slipping, and then once you get your clay on, that's what actually makes it crack sometimes, because it's not really tight. So that's what you want to avoid. But you want to make this top bar go over the top portion of your head around here, and this side here is pretty tight because I double wrapped it. So, you know, this will be coming straight up the spike. And you just use a reference, you know, of the picture as to how many spikes you want to put and start wrapping wire 
around this top bar here, however you like. Sometimes I'll do a little extra one, extra spikes around here, and then two here in the back. So it's basically all I'm going to show because it's really manipulating the wire a lot. One tip I want to include when you start dealing with this top bar on the wireframe, make sure that they both are already fitting kind of snug to your head. And this wire bar you want to fit you sitting like straight on the top of your head. Um, that helps it kind of stay on better. Um, like see it already stays on without me, you know, having the rest of it done. But um, the top bar, once you get like the spikes added and the clay um, on there, it kind of makes it heavier. So with this top bar, it just helps like kind of sit on the top of your head. And, and you'll just want to adjust these parts coming down. You can kind of like bend them up a little bit more. You can just mess with that depending on how it fits your head. So that's just one tip, you know, during the process. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like now that the frame is done. So it should fit your head like this. You want it to be like, you know, fitting pretty well um, on your head because the next step is really to uh, mold the clay on, on each piece individually. Here's a close up of what the crown looks like when the wire frame is done. So next you want to grab the clay and make a sort of rope shape and then press it onto the base of the crown. And with this clay it's a little bit difficult but you're basically just pushing it through on the other side and just go like this. So you're going to do that for the whole crown all the way through. And with the spikes, I make them thinner, and then at the top, I just make it pointy. Here's an in-progress look of how it looks as you cover it with the clay. I just have the top bar covered, and the rest is just a time-consuming process. Okay, here's the crown completed with all of the clay covering each wire. As you go through, you can smooth out the different places. Like here, you can see the wire. Just cover them all, all these type of spots. So that's really your next step. Just make the uh, edges here on the top pointy. And then your next step will be swirling very thin pieces um, of clay around here to make it look a little more viney. Now's a good time to go ahead and do another fitting on your head um, before you start adding the little pieces and then baking it and painting. So, um, you know, it's still somewhat moldable to the shape of your head, so it should fit like this. It should fit it, your head very well. So you're going to start making these small little rope shapes and wrap them around the spikes. Gently push them in. So you're just going to keep wrapping them around or however you want to to make them look a little more like viney branches. And just go ahead and do that around different areas that you'd like to to make it look at more detailed. Okay, I went ahead and added a few of these details here with the little vines going around. And you can get as complex as you want, but I kept this one very simple. Your next step is you're going to go ahead and start painting it with acrylic paint, which shows up pretty well. Just go ahead and start painting the whole crown. So here it is painted. And from here, go ahead and try it on one last time, and then bake it in the oven according to the instructions on your package. But make sure you do one last fitting. Okay, while your crown is baking, it's a good time to grab about five or six of these, paint them red, 
here's what it looks like afterwards. I put a little bit of gold on mine just because I think it looks better. So next you're just going to wait on your crown to finish baking. Okay, once it's finished, here's how it comes out looking. And then all you have to do from here is use some hot glue with the red leaves and just put them here, maybe two in the back, and then just space them out. I use about six, so go ahead and glue them onto different points. Okay, here's the final view. I glued the leaves on and it is complete.